being conditioned, and then we're completely attached to that conditioning. And you know, some of that conditioning is difficult to see because it happens in a very subtle way. So, you know, when I was with Osho, I also did a lot of meditation. I mean, my meditation was always with the idea to become enlightened. So, you know, I would meditate to get something. But anyway, I s discovered later that my years of meditation anyway was very valuable. So meditation is definitely a, a very valuable tool to quieten the mind and get rid of a lot of the conditioning. So a lot of our conditioning can easily go away through meditation. Yeah? So you got a benefit from those years. I, I also got a benefit. But still, um, there's subtle structures which we don't see so easily. You know, and so somehow we have to become very aware, self-aware. And actually Osho also talk, talked about that. He talked about becoming self-aware. So actually, you know, I spent many years with Osho and I got two great values. One was the meditation and the other was becoming self-aware. And the kind of meditation that I did was basically teaching me to be self-aware. Um, he did all these kind of crazy meditations, but he also encouraged us just to sit and watch. So this kind of meditation is giving us a, a kind of um, instruction on being self-aware. So I, I think without realizing, I got from Osho two valuable things, a quiet mind and the ability to be self-aware. And then when I was directed by uh, Papaji, actually, um, it was actually quite easy for me to, as you say, um, become detached. You know, his power was somehow enough to detach me. Uh, I often tell this story of how uh, my second question to, or no, actually it was my first question to Papaji. I came to him with this super special question from Puna, my Puna question, you see. And I came to him and I said, Papaji, I have so many blocks. Can you tell me how I can get rid of my blocks? You see, this is my first question to Papaji because, you know, I learned in Pune a lot about blocks, yeah? And then I wanted a, a super technique that Papaji would give me to get rid of my blocks, right? So his answer, show me your blocks. <laughs> you see? Show me your blocks. You see, this is a absolutely brilliant answer because in that moment my mind kind of self-destructed you know I nearly got it in that first meeting because my mind just went bananas because of course I couldn't find any blocks my idea about blocks was just bullshit that I'd been carrying for years it was like the Puna conditioning in the spiritual conditioning that we all had blocks and you need to do another workshop to get rid of your whatever block it is you know and he just said, show me your blocks, you know. And then I'm like, what? <laughs> it completely went bananas, you know. You see, it's a brilliant, brilliant answer, you see. What I was expecting was some fantastic technique, you know. You know, three o'clock in the morning, cold shower, and then, you know, whatever it would be, you know. And he just said, show me your blocks, you know. So although I gained, you know, as I say, a quiet mind and the ability to look, I also gained absolute nonsense, like I was full of blocks. And so it, it's not easy to always see these conditionings. And all you can really do is observe the kind of nonsense you have going on in your mind. You see? And if you can see that it's not true, then it will disappear. As soon as you see some particular structure, like I've got blocks, if, as soon as he showed me that that was just bullshit, it had gone. I never again ever thought oh, I have blocks. So you can do the same thing. With using this tool of self-awareness, you can see certain re reoccurring structures inside you. 
And if you really see that they're not true, they just disappear.